reason to do this yoga is if you find benefit in your life from it. If not, do something else. Yoga should be a tool for the rest of our life. The goal is not to just do asanas. We're not trying to become an asana machine. So I like to say it in this way, that there is a difference between doing yoga or just making an asana of ourself, right? So we can make all kind of shapes, but if that's all it was about, who would be the greatest yogis in the world? Would be gymnasts, circus people, whatever. When I practice yoga, when anyone practices yoga, it's as though we create a prana bubble. We create a filtration system around our body. So when we practice, it's, we can't control a lot of things. For instance, the economy, the weather, is it too hot or too cold? Is there possibly some violence? Could there be, we don't know what we may encounter, what um, potential dangers are there or challenges or whatever. When we have this pranic bubble around us and those problems come at us, it's like a filtration system. It doesn't mean the problems don't go away, but it allows me to react with more clarity because I feel that this filtration system has softened the blow. But as that pranic bubble begins to fade, oh, life feels so much more harsh and it's difficult, and so you do your practice and build another bubble. And so the, the reason that people keep coming back to yoga is because it works. It's a balancing act between effort and effortlessness. When do we push? When do we relax? When do we strive? When do we back off? You can take this into any aspect of life. Relationships, business, whatever. There's moments where you have to, to be very focused and, and push something in a certain direction, other time you have to let go. You know, sometimes though, people say, just go with the flow, man, but that's really not yoga. In Texas, we say only dead fish go with the flow. With the idea is you don't just only let yourself go. Yoga means you make great effort, but it's effort with, with focus and intent and a calmness. It's not just let whatever's gonna happen, happen. So when the world around us is doing what it does, how we move through it will be determined by how well we are able to control our mind, which is what yoga does. Yoga is chitta vritti narodha, the cessation of the fluctuation of the mind.